everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make a pocket letter. Um, I made similar things back in the 90s with my school friends and a pen pal, um, but it was uh, from all like the old junk mail that you used to receive. Back then you would get like notebooks and blotting paper and just plain pads and we would cut the envelopes up and we'd stick them down and you know they were real proper DIY um, but we used to have lots of fun with it. Um, however these days people make them a lot more um, pretty and detailed. Um, the common ones are using the pouches, the clear pouches that you can buy with the pockets already in them. Um, however I've decided to make one using a piece of 12 by 12 card and I've made my own pockets. So this is the front, I keep stroking all the ribbons here. Um, I've just loaded up a bulldog clip, a big gold one here, or a binder clip, um, and I've just tied all different pieces of ribbon, and there's some little, these are lawn fawn gift tags um, that I've uh, die cut, and then I've put little eyelets in there as well, just to give it a little bit more something. Um, got some lace, pom-poms, just fun bits and pieces. And then this is the front, so I have used, these are glue dots which I've then covered with um, gilding flakes which I'll show you. I've got just little flower die cuts and just some papers. The papers I'm using, these are Stamping Ups, oh god I don't know the names, I think it's Petal Promenade or something. Let me just grab the back bit here. Yeah, Petal Promenade. Um, designer series paper. Um, so that's what I'm using for this one and the one I'm going to show you um, but obviously you can use any printed paper but basically you open it up you have these here which are little mats which you can pop um, you know photos on if you want. Um, I've kept it completely plain because it is just the back of this here. So it's nine pockets um, you've got two envelopes, you've got envelope here and in here I have put the um, butterflies, those 3D butterflies that I use, I'm going to put them in a plastic little clear bag with a little tab on them just so it's easy to get them in and out but you can see there I've got five of those in there um, so I'll pop those back in there just to keep them all nice and safe I've made that with the envelope punch ball which I'll go through with you and a little velcro dot here are some little um, tags um, you can hole punch them and use them as gift tags and you can use them for your scrapbooking um, just anything really. Hello Beautiful, that one's just gold, that one's got a little bit there that you can write on. You make me happy and love. So I've got those ones in there and that's another little pocket and again I've used the glue dots along there. This one, a different pocket and I've used a, um, oh gosh I forget the name of these, let me grab it here. It's the Thickers, um, this is by American Crafts and these are lovely. I want to get some more of these. Um, so you get the front and the back, so I've just started pulling bits of those out. Then I've got two little corner pockets here. Um, so once the video goes up there will be pictures and they will have it complete because basically I've got a Twinings, the purple tea bag is going to go in the middle here. Then there's going to be a flat little bar of chocolate that's going to sit in one of these or possibly in this envelope at the bottom here. Then I've got some embellishments, so I've just got a little strip of the little pearl ones there. Um, down here, these are nice, so I'm going to show you how to make these. I've just put eyelets in them, and um, those ones have just got some little purple sequins in, and these ones here have got these really nice little embellishments, so I've done that one. Again, I've got one of those stickers just on the bottom there. Um, and then this one here is these, um, like, uh, what's the word? Cosmetics, I guess, jewellery, they're little stickers. You've got, the, um, and I've got these to go in the next one as well, but there's a perfume bottle, nail varnish, a watch, a diamond ring, NARS um, nail polish there. There's loads. There's probably about 50 stickers in there. Um, and like I said, there'll be the tea bag that's going to go in and the chocolate, and there will be a little card from me as well that's going to go in one of these. So whatever one the chocolate doesn't go in, um, Oh, I'm going to do some probably gift tags as well, but I'm going to do some more with the next one. Um, and that's that's what it is. The idea of a, of a pocket letter is just the same. It's a letter, so you'd have somewhere here where you will write your little note. And then you have things that that person would like. So this is going to go to another crafty friend. So that's why there's the embellishments and the stickers and the tags. 
um, and embellishments and so on and so forth and then you have your cup of tea while you enjoy it and look through it so that's that's the kind of background behind them so it all folds up and then you just clip it together with your little clip okay and then you'd obviously pop that in the post or give it by hand it's entirely up to you so moving on today I am going to be using this colour here, this really lovely um, pink and I use the Paper Mania Colossal um, Capsule Collection papers and again all those links are always shared in my blog. So you just need to do a little bit of scoring, just grab my scoreboard here, because I found it's better if you give yourself a little spine when you do this. So along the 12 inch side and this is going to be the sides that fold so this is going to be your right way up. You want to score at three and seven eighths of an inch and four and one eighth of an inch and then seven and seven eighths of an inch and eight and one eighth of an inch. So you're creating a quarter inch spine over the eight inches and over the four inches. Then rotate it and you just then want to score at four and eight. Okay, so they're just slightly off being four by four squares. So that's all the scoring done there, and then yeah, get rid of your scoreboard. I'm just trying to find my bone folder, there we go, and just furnish all of your score lines. Okay, so now if you flip it in like so, you will have this kind of little tube like so, okay? And that will just help you um, be able to uh, bulk it out and it's still kind of wrap around and, and close. Now's the fun part of making all of your pockets so it's entirely up to you how you want to do this but first of all I'm going to bring down the envelope one. So I've got an envelope in the top left and the bottom right. So this one I've already done I'm going to talk you through the next one. So I've just got a little mat there just to layer it on just to give it a bit of a frame so it kind of pops out against that pink um, base card. So to make this it's a little three by three envelope and I'm just using my envelope punch board here and for a three by three card size sorry that's the one you're following you need a piece of paper that's five and a quarter by five and a quarter which I already have and you're going to score at two and five eighths of an inch so I'm just going to pop this one in here line up here at two and five eighths punch and score flip that one round again two and five eighths and then just line up the other lines as I always say whenever I use this, I do have a tutorial showing how to use this in more detail, so just revert to that and it's over on my channel and I will share links to it as well. So you will have this shape here, which is the same as the shape here. And then you just want to burnish, actually I'm going to kind of just round off my edges, burnish all of your score lines. Okay, and then decide, because this is going to be folded, just decide which one, if you've got one that you prefer as to have your little flap, I'm going to keep that one there. So your two sides go in, your base goes up, and then the lid comes down there. So I'm just going to grab some of my um, red tape here, and just run it along the bottom there. Fold one down because you'll have that bit of stickiness that it can stick to and then just run your other piece along that one. There we go and then just stick that down. Okay and then I've got some Velcro dots here. Just get the hook and the loop bit together, stick it on the top there and then just fold it over. Okay and there is your envelope. Now if you wanted to you could do envelopes on every single page. That would look fantastic, but the whole point of a pocket letter is you don't have to have different pockets, it could be all the same if you want to. So I'm now just going to pull out one of these gold hearts, pop that on the bottom there, and then I've got this here which I'd already cut, which is a piece of uh, three and a half by three and a half squared paper, and then I'm just going to apply some wet glue on the back stick that one so it's nicely in the middle so you've got a nice even border and then we're just going to glue both of those down now you might want to do all of your pockets first which is what I've done and then I kind of 
lay them all out to decide exactly where I wanted them but because I'm going to follow the same as what I'd done before I know that I want this one in the bottom left and this one up in the top right so and just make sure you've got the nice even pink frame around that white and there you will already have your first two pockets okay so that's those ones so now we will move on to let me just see so I've got everything up here so I'm going to do that's from the outside right let's do these ones here these are fun so these are just your kind of um, a normal half pocket okay so that's the one that's already ready and that one is going to go up here and then the other one is going to go down here now these are the ones that I put the um, glue dots on and I just I've, I have done it before a long time ago and I totally forgot about it and it's such a good way to add um, you, your foils as well but if you just want to do some dots and just add your glue dots everywhere. What am I doing? I'm cutting this. I'm not even explaining to you what you're going to do. So you need two pieces. So this is the pattern paper. You want two pieces that are three and three quarters by two and a quarter. And then you're going to score along the three and three quarter inch side. You're going to score at one quarter and three and a half. And then rotate it onto the short two and a quarter inch side and score at a quarter. So you're basically just giving yourself a quarter inch um, piece on three sides. This piece without the score line is your top of your pocket. So now I'll get rid of that. And then what you want to do is snip the two bottom corners so that you want the bottom to have a score line running and then the other two score lines on the left and the right. The top will have no score line because remember that's the top of the pocket. So the bottom here you just want to snip across on an angle to create your edges. Now let me just burnish this just so you can see exactly what it was that I've done and why. So once you fold up all of those score lines you create this little pocket and by cutting off that corner your corners here can fold in nicely. Okay so we're going to run glue or I'm going to use my red tape on these here and once we stick that down it will create your little pocket. So again just run wet glue, double sided tape, red tape, it's entirely up to you, it's just, you know, this is a, a very lightweight kind of thing, you're not, I mean, well you may do, but you, you don't tend to really put anything too heavy in it, so, you know, when it comes to your adhesives, don't worry, you just want something that's paper friendly, obviously you don't want it to warp too much. So, again, remove all the backing, like so. And then grab, again, this mat is the same as all the other mats that I've been using, which I can't remember the measurement of. It is three and a half squared. So grab that piece and you're just going to stick this towards the bottom, making sure you've got a nice even border on the bottom and the left and the right there. And then you will have another little pocket. And that one's going to obviously stick down there. But before we do that, I'm just going to pop this to one side because this is a little bit messy. Make sure you've got no um, windows open or no breeze because this stuff will go everywhere. So these are my um, they're metallic flakes here, but they're obviously gilding flakes. Um, gold leaf if you've got the real stuff, but this is all the imitation. But I've got loads. These have lasted me ages. I mean, this one here is still going. I've got copper and silver and or rose gold, I guess. Mm, yes, rose goldy, copper colour, gold and silver. Um, I picked these up from Bastins, which is a UK... It was a huge company, um, but now they seem to they don't have so many of them. But I got this in Totnes, and um, I, like I said, I got them ages ago. You can see where I've used lots of it, but they're still still going. In fact, that one's open a bit there. But anyway, um, you can buy these similar ones on Amazon and eBay. So um, if again, if I can find the links, I'll share them. But basically what you want to do, any size glue dots will work. I've got these really chunky ones and I know that, I'm gonna go on to the next lot, pop them to one side. I know that four of these fit perfectly within the bottom of this. So I'm just lining them up. You can just about see through and I'm using the bottom of the glue dot kind of strip. Um, along the bottom of my pattern paper there. When you've got glue dots just rub over them and you want it to turn white 
and when it turns white that means that the glue dot is completely transferred over onto your image and when you peel off this backing the circle will stay in a perfect circle whereas if you don't completely stick it down properly when you lift it it will start to stretch and pull it and then you, you will never be able to get it back to that way that it was. But see how easily that comes off and it's not changed the shape of those circles. So now they're in place, just grab my gold flakes and some tweezers and you want to try and pull some sheets out so I've got a sheet there and then you can very carefully try and do it in one go get the whole glue dot covered. Some of you might be watching this going, oh that's a faff. Yeah, maybe, but I like the faffs. It's, these are the bits that bring me joy, as they say, when it comes to crafting. And it just gives you a slightly different texture as you would, than you would get with foil. Um, and it's, like I said, it's just, it's different. It's, it's fun. So if you can try and do it in one go, then obviously it's less mess, but you will also not use as much either. So once it's in place, pop that to one side, fold over any bits that are really hanging off and just rub over with your finger and just bring in the bits. So, and then you just basically don't want to feel anything sticky anymore. Once that stickiness is gone, you know that whole area has been covered with the gold. And just bring in all the loose bits that you can. So try not to waste anything and just keep rubbing over it until it's really embedded into that glue dot. And then with all the little excess pieces, I've got this rough brush here, very inexpensive, and just be quite heavy handed with it. If you've missed any bits you can go back in. But basically now you will see what a cool effect it gives you. So it's just a nice way to add, um, you know, uh, some shine to your projects. And um, yeah, a bit of fun. So get rid of all these bits. You don't want to be, be inhaling um, flakes. And I will, uh, I need to get one of those drier sheets because they pick it all up straight away. But I'll be hoovering later. So now you will have two of these. So I'll bring back in my card here and obviously again you can decorate however you want to and just pop my ones going in the bottom so just line them all up with the, the previous one and make sure that you've got a nice frame okay so that's another two down next I am going to do let me just revert to my other one um, yeah, I'm going to do these ones next. So I've got, okay, so I've got all these pieces here. So you need two strips of, that's my school board again. And you are going to need two strips of your pattern paper. And you want it to be nine and three quarters by three and a quarter. And along the long length there, you want to score at three and a quarter and six and a half. Okay. Now, what I will be doing is wrapping, which way did I do this? Did I want it that way? No, yes, yeah, so it's going to be that way and that way. Yeah, so I've done that the wrong way because I scored it wrong, so I'm going to keep it that way. So they're going to be two different looking ones, but basically you're going to fold it like so. I had that the reverse with the blossom pattern inside and then this marble effect on the outside, but this case now this one's going to have the blossom on the outside, but it really doesn't matter. And then you want another uh, two mats, so three and a half by three and a half, because we're going to be creating this pocket here, so we can pop stuff inside like so. So you've done your scoring there, get rid of the scoreboard, grab my trimmer, and Basically what you want to do is cut down, so you've got your three squares, the two outer squares are what we're going to be cutting, and you want to line it in your trimmer, so lie, lie the top of the score line in the track, and then the point in the track, and whenever you're cutting into 
anything with a point, always start from the flat end. Then with the same, um, you want to cut down from that same angle, so from this score line, this flat side again, down to a point, and you've created this pocket, so that's going to be stuck over and give us that one. Now keep these pieces here because they are going to create our other pockets which I'm going to show you after this one. So do that twice, all of these you'll be doing uh, two of. So I've got that one is going to go up there, this one's going to be matted on that three and a half by three and a half like so and that one is going to go down here. And it looks so pretty, this paper is just gorgeous. Um, I don't buy lots of stamping up but when I see um, you know, paper packs like this that jump out at me, then I will go and grab those. So just burnish the sides and basically you're going to stick one over the other. So if you've got a preference, depending on what paper it is that you're using. So basically you're going to run a little thin strip of your adhesive or wet glue. If it's wet glue, make sure it's a very, very thin bead of glue because you don't want it to um, spread out too much inside and then it won't give you the, the depth of that pocket that you need. So take both of the backings off and then I'm going to stick with this one here. So just when you lie it down make sure it runs flush with the bottom and again like so. Okay and then grab this one again, pop my glue on the back that one down and then stick that one in again making sure you've got a nice even border and it's all sitting in line with your other white ones and then this one up here okay and then again I want to finish that one off with some nice sticker so I'm going to use this one here, like so, and maybe that one there. There we go. Okay, so I've, I've got a piece of gold on every single pocket. So now on to these ones here. So these will stick here with a three and a half by three and a half white mat if that's how you want to do it. Now what I've decided to do is change this one slightly and I have gone ahead and, and layered them on some pink Miri card. So I'm not going to have a three and a half by three and a half white mat. I'm just going to have this which sits further in the square so it's bigger than that three um, and three and a half by three and a half white mat but I quite like those two in the corner there and then with what I've got planned for the middle it will all tie in nicely. So if you want to layer them up then you will need a piece of um, card uh, three and three quarters squared and then just cut it from point to point through the middle and then you will be able to layer up these pieces over the top. Okay, if not, like I said, just stick them um, I think we've got a thunderstorm coming then, I can hear it rumbling, like this. So this is three and a half by three and a half stripy paper and then I've just stuck that um, piece there directly over the top. Okay, so play around again, just decide what it is. All what I'm showing you is just inspiration. Everybody's will look different and they should do. They're, you know, it's a personal thing, it's just like a letter. A letter is a personal thing that you send to somebody. Okay, so I'm just going to grab one of them and depending on what side, whether it's going on the left or the right. Decide which way, I think I have that one. Although you've still got to stick the same two sides anyway. So just again, I'm using, this is the quarter inch red tape. So it still gives me a nice big pocket. Well, you never know, you might hear some, uh, some good thunder during this video. We're due a good storm actually, it's so muggy and humid outside. Okay, so got about one eighth of an inch border with this one. There we go. So now if I just bring in 
this here, which I'll be showing you in a minute, and see how it would fit in. It gives you a nice deep pocket. And again, just stick that one in the opposite square, like so. Okay, so now we need to finish with the middle one. Now the middle one's a bit different. You may want to do this, you may not. So I have a piece of window sheet or acetate here, and this measures um, four and a half by four. And then my piece to go inside that is three and a half squared, okay? Now what you want to do is with your scoreboard is we're going to, it's hard for you to see this acetate. Let me grab it's a huge yellow piece here, but just so you can see, we're going to be scoring along three sides. So along your four and a half, so you want it so your four and a half width is, is running along the top. We're going to score down this side, along the bottom, and this side, again creating a pocket. So you're not scoring on all four to four with your acetate. It's just hard for you to see this, so make sure you've got it with the four and a half along the top. And you're going to score at half an inch, okay, and at four. And then flip it around and you're going to score at half an inch again. So just those three sides. And then you're going to cut it exactly the same way that I did with those other ones. So just cut across so you're running through the cross score line piece you're going right through the middle of that and then with the other just like you did with those pockets you just want to burnish now with acetate it's always good to fold it first I know it's very hard for you to see these score lines but basically now what we've created is a three and a half by three and a half square in the middle, grab your bone folder and just go in and work those creases so they run and lie nice and flat. Okay, so this is what you should have. I've got two little bits here and here, and then this piece here is going to slide in, and we're going to stick all of this onto the back so that our pocket is then there. So take this back out, open up the sides of your acetate and you, again red tape I find is the best with acetate because it sticks to the plastic. Um, wet glue will just end up coming off so yeah the red tape is good or double sided as well but just some double sided tapes won't kind of last forever so just bear that in mind. Um, if you've got a good score tape um, that will work. Okay, so you can see the acetate a bit better now with those red strips on it. So take each one off. You want your printed paper facing down. Pop it in there. It will sit perfectly in that three by three, three and a half by three and a half square. And then just fold in each piece of acetate. Don't worry if it's not really neat in terms of your um, red tape or whatever you're using. Just go over it with your bone folder, make sure you've got all the air bubbles out. And then you're going to put your tape over again, just over the plastic. And then you can use wet glue in the middle. So I'm just popping my red tape along the most outer part, like so. And then I will pop wet glue in the middle bit because that's just paper sticking against paper and then this one is going to sit perfectly in the middle again give yourself a nice border like so okay so you can see now that pocket and that's for the tea bag to go in or what you know I plan to put in there you may well you may well do something different Okay, so now I want to add some bits inside and a few more embellishments. So I'm going to pop some more hearts along the bottom of here. So this time I've run out of the other ones that I've used. So I'm going to use, start from the outside, the other outside, and then just kind of come in. And that way you know you've got it nice and even 
like so. So now that's all ready for something to go in there. And then I need some kind of gold or flowers or something on these two because everything then has a gold um, something on them. Um, before I do more inside, let's go on to the front. So I then fold my right over and then my left is my top piece. It's entirely up to you. Um, so I have got one, two, three. So basically I'm going to have this one. These are all three and a half by three and a half white um, mats or squares. And then the layer on top of this one is three and a quarter squared and then I'm going to stick them all down and then these ones I've just done these strips through the middle the same paper which again are three and a half in length and then an inch wide okay so I'm going to go and stick all them down okay so that's those three in place and then I have gone ahead and cut out these really lovely I've used them quite a lot these are the Sizzix tribal words and you get live wish, love, dream and laugh and the laugh I've got here because I just want to die cut one and do it with you so basically I have there's my okay there's the other one so I've got my live, my love and my laugh and I've die cut two of each one and then just um, stuck them on top of each other so this is using the hunky dory miri card which again I have used a lot just run that one through. I need to secure my mat down, it always wobbles Ooh, and moves and I've just hit my lamp all over the place there. There we go. Okay. So you can see they're just really lovely and I like the words that they have. And you can obviously use them like this, you can use them all together, use them separately. So okay. And then just stick them together. So whenever you're working with like an intricate die or Miri card, for example, pop that one up there. Um, you can run them through a sticker machine um, if you want to stick them on top. That way, you can use the little fine tip glues. I, for I don't know how long I've been doing it this way. Put some glue on your hand. Grab your tweezers and just. In fact, I don't need them for that bit. Just carefully stick it over and you don't need loads of glue on it it's just to attach it together and if you do get any glue over the top you can always rub it off once it dries with miri card you can polish it up so if you get any kind of um, glue on it and it starts to go all the best thing is let it dry don't smudge it while it's wet just leave it let it dry hard and then you can either use a um, adhesive rubber or just rub it with some tissue and it will just, like I said, buff and polish it up and make it all shiny again. So there's two on each. There's two love, two, two live, two love and two laugh now. So I've got a bit of glue on my, on my laugh, but I can sort that out in a minute. And then I'm going to have these going through the middle. So I've got live, love and laugh. That one just fits on. So again, just sit them over the top here. And you just want to make sure you get the glue just covering the kind of main parts really. Okay, and then I'm going to open it all up, lie it down flat, and I'm going to add more of my glue dots on this one. So you can see what I've done here. So I've got three on each one, and then I finished it with flowers and embellishments. So I'm going to go ahead and do exactly the same as what I showed you um, on these ones. Okay, so that's the front. So I went a bit crazy with my glue dots, but I think it looks really, really cool. I love it. So that's my front. I might add some flowers as well. I think it needs a little bit more dimension, but again, I'll show you that as I do it. I've just cut down some of these little cards here to three by three. Um, I'm going to hole punch, pop some ribbon in them, cherish this day forever. I can write a little message on there or hello. I can write something nice on the back there. Again, pop a little eyelet in there and pop some ribbon. Um, I'm going to show you how I packaged up my stickers. So these are the stickers here I bought in China. Um, 60p, <laughs> so so cheap, but this is rubbish packaging, I don't like what they do, I want to make it nicer, so they're already in this little cellophane here, so I've got some of the same paper, I've got a two inch hole punch here, and I'm going to do it on the wrong side, one of those, 
and then just fold this in half like so I'm then going to fold this in half again and I just want to make it a thinner packet um, so I'm just going to run and do I want to go long ways or no I'm going to go the short way I think how long will that stretch no I'll go the other way Okay, you would think it's night time now, it's gone so dark <laughs> from the sun that was shining through slightly earlier um, when I started this video, it's now really dark. Okay, so just fold it in half to make it thin so that that will sit. So I want that to be the same kind of length there. And then I'm just going to pop some sticky tape anywhere on the two halves. It doesn't really doesn't matter, it's just so it sticks in place. Um, and this is purely decoration. I mean, if you're popping these in envelopes, then maybe you don't want to spend so much time on it because you, you're not going to see them. These, my plan is that these are actually going to be shown off. They're going to be sticking out here. So you can see now what it looks like. Then you want to pull punch. Where is it? Aha. Uh -huh. My tags for later. Put a hole punch through the middle. like so and then I've got my little eyelets here these are so old like really old um, and I'm just going to pop I've got a little kind of bronzy eyelet there and okay, here comes the rain everybody's running outside because I've got a fantastic view along one of the blocks so I can see right the way down and everybody's running for shelter now um, so there you go you can just see you just get that little there and then grab some ribbon let's use some of this nice pink here so you can see why i use the miri card because i'm tying in other um similar colors so it does all end up matching well together so just feed that through and then obviously you can do as many of these pockets as you like but it's just another nice way to present little gifts you may you know go through your own stash and put some sequins, that's what I did for the, the sequin bag. Um, so you don't need to go out and buy lots of things, the, the idea is that it's stuff from that you've, you know, you've gathered, you've put together. So pull that nice and tight because you can, because you're not going to rip your card because you've got that metal eyelet. And then I can just trim my ends so they're a little bit shorter, one longer than the other, like so. Spread them out so you've got less bulk. And then this one I'm going to pop in here maybe. There we go. Because then that will fold over nicely like so. So I think I'll have that one there. I think I'm going to have something, a flower there or a little message. Or it could go down in this one here. Again, I think it needs some more words. So let me grab got anything here these are all too big so I'm gonna have a little look at my stash and see what I can pull out okay so the storm is past but you might still get the odd bit of um, lightning but it went really loud the rain was pounding on the window and it went quite dark even with my lights on so I stopped filming anyway I've carried on and finished a few bits and pieces so I've made another little pocket there with the sequins in same way that I did with that one but that's um, uh, two inch circle die, little eyelet and the ribbon, so that one's going to pop in there. Um, I cut these down, I can't remember if I told you that or not, yeah, so I said I was going to write on the backs of them. I've added flowers, so I've got little um, flowers here, here and here, and then I have done these, so these are still, um, the Miri card is the same as the white here, so three and a half by three and a half, and then the layer on top, I remember what I've done there, it was three and a quarter squared and then I've added another pocket here. It's the same pocket there I've done here with a little heart on top. So again, I don't know what else I'm gonna put in there. I might put some more chocolate in there. Um, and then on the back, I've just got the one square um, just cause I've run out of that paper now um, and the Miri card. And then the front, I have added um, a flower here, here, here and here. 
and obviously you saw all of those there. So now there you can see the two of them there together. They look great. They're meant to be bulky. They've got a bit of a junk journal kind of feel to them. So that that is how they're meant to be. Um, so again, you know, it's I love that kind of thing anyway. So then I've just got all different kinds of ribbon and I have got some tags, so more of those tags that I cut and then I've got my binder clip here as well and literally you just tie it <laughs> there's no, you know, you can do this any way you want but just tie them all on and then cut them all down to different lengths I'm just tying all different pinks I've got some laces, I've got a thin one here I've got the pom-pom trim again so just get them all on there, really fill it up okay, with this lace that I've got here I'm going to tie it in a knot at the top and then I'm going to feed through one part of this and then just tie it in another loose knot and then in a bow and that's kind of like the top of the this decoration really. And then this thin piece I'm going to pop at the bottom so you can play around with it more once it's all in place. and. Tie it in a knot. So I'm going to grab some more. I've got another piece here. So now I've got four pieces of this very thin one, but I'm going to put two of them together, like so. I'm going to clip my clip to the top of my board here. So you can't slightly off camera, but basically I'm going to plait it. Okay, so I've got my four bits. I'm going to put two together and then just do a normal braid so like you would in your hair again this is all optional it's just little things that I like to add in okay when you get to the end you're just going to bunch them all together tie it in a knot so thread this all through so I'm just going to trim off some of it there so it's all the same length thread it all through and then bring up the pieces again and just tie them around the top so I've just basically gone back up and tied it around the bottom of that plait just so it all kind of sits there in place so again just wrap two more around like so and then I can just trim all the little bits like that okay take that back off my board so now we've got a bow at the top there once it's all on it's going to look nice that piece down there you've got a tag hanging there you've got a tag there basically just decide where you want to put it I put it on the top kind of ones there but once that all hangs down see now what you want to do is just trim it so that it's not um, going past you want them all kind of different lengths really I want my pom-poms a bit shorter I have that one there a bit shorter as well there we go that's better take off some of that bulk and then it just hangs down next to it keeping it all together so i will have this all on my blog all with detailed pictures um, and i will show you obviously the tea bags that are going to go in there there'll be a little note card little bar of chocolate you'll see all of that as well in the pictures but yeah i really love this and i forgot just how much fun these are to make so the uh, you know the ideas are endless the amount of pockets you want to do um, it's entirely up to you um, but I think they make lovely gifts now I've got a surprise little giveaway so I'm, sne I'm sneaking this in at the end of the tutorial for a few reasons I'm just curious to see how many people actually get to the end of my tutorials watch them all um, and um, I just thought it was a nice little way to kind of do a secret giveaway so if you are watching what I'd like you to do, I'm going to post one of these to one of the lucky winners. Um, one of them is a going to, some, to a friend and I want to send this to one of you, my crafty friends. So all you need to do is in the comments is put hashtag um, pocket letter. I don't want you to write anything saying oh about the giveaway because I don't want people that maybe haven't watched the tutorial to see what that is and just enter for the sake of entering. This is for you guys that really do appreciate my tutorials so that's why I wanted to do a bit of a secret giveaway so I hope you appreciate it hope you like this um, and it's only going to be for 24 hours so 24 hours from the time I put this out which they go out at midnight um, English um, time 
Greenwich Mean Time, so midnight, so midnight Friday morning it will go out, so midnight Saturday I will stop any more um, hashtag uh, pocket letter comments and I will announce the winner on, um, I will contact them through YouTube via the comments and I will also um, announce it on Facebook as well and I think then some people will be like oh I missed that what do I need to do and yeah it's just a nice way because there are lots of things in my tutorials that sometimes you might miss so I hope you've enjoyed this one I've loved it um, please give me a thumbs up as always and subscribe to my channel to see more and get popping down your hashtag pocket letter in the comments if you'd like to receive one of these thanks for watching bye